Welcome to our next tutorial of Quick Surface. Let's quickly create a 2D sketch and I will just use the front plane for this demonstration and we'll create a sketch. We'll hide the mesh and very quickly I will just create my sketch with the brushing tool. We'll just fit the lines so they can uh, extract it. As you can see the auto join works here quite well. You can learn this from the other tutorials. So once I have the sketch I can use it in quick surface but there are options that you can export this as a 2D DXF file and in order to do this you need to go to options and select as a DXF R14. We also support DXF version 12 but the latest R14 version of DXF also supports the splines and it's a better option so we recommend always to use this option for the DXF export and only for some legacy reasons if you want to try to load the DXF into older programs or older version then you just go for this uh, release 12 so by default use this R14 options and you press OK. So now if you want to export the sketch as a DXF, just press the export. Navigate to the location where you want to export and press save. And you are ready. I will quickly go to another program, which is the Autodesk Viewer. We'll select open. And then this is where I exported my sketch. We'll select and open. The file is loaded and you can see it here in this uh, drawing. Of course you can open this in SOLIDWORKS for example. The reason I'm showing this is because uh, we need to be careful with the units. I want to say that the units, let's go and select the TXF, I want to highlight that the units stored in the um, file are always millimeters. So regardless of the fact that you work in inches in quick surface, you can just uh, always need to bear in mind that the data are stored as uh, uh, in millimeters. So that's why when you import in SOLIDWORKS, be careful that you select the millimeters option here. And then you can press next and then you can finish. Now this file will be imported into SOLIDWORKS as well. It's a normal sketch where you can add dimensions and you can use it too. The other software that I can show you is the Rhino. We can just go and import the same DXF file. Again, bear in mind with the options that you need to select always the millimeters. So this is how the DXF export works. I hope that there are some applications that you can use it easily to send this out to other packages that support the DXF as a native file format. Thank you for watching.